afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the award ceremony for the class of 2023 at the Geisel School of Medicine at Dartmouth. We're so glad you could be here with us today. Let's have a round of applause for our graduating class. My name is Dr. Allison Holmes. I'm the Associate Dean for Student Affairs and Associate Professor of Pediatrics here at Geisel. It's my honor to welcome you and serve as your MC uh, for this evening's award ceremony. This is a really significant weekend of celebrations and recognition, so it's appropriate that we welcome so many of our graduates, families, friends, and all of our Geisel colleagues to this ceremony. So welcome again. We ordered the weather, so you can thank us for that. Um, we are starting a little bit later than usual. Um, so given the uh, nearness to the dinner hour, we will celebrate and then celebrate with food, as I know many of you are probably hungry at this point. Um, but the later hour does allow us to have all of our clinical colleagues from the hospital be able to come and join us when their day is over. So hope we, you understand our, our desire for that later start this evening. But given that, we will move right into our awards. Uh, we'll start with our first award, which is the Department of Anesthesiology Outstanding Graduating Student Award. And to present that award, we have Dr. Kiran Guthikanda, Assistant Professor of Anesthesiology. Hi, how are you? So um, the award this year goes to a student who uh, we described as uh, one of the most humble people we've worked with while being one of the best at the same time. Uh, it's a award that um, is, was, not hard, was not easy to come by this year because we had 12 students match into anesthesia. I think that's the most that we've ever had as far as we know of uh, match into anesthesia uh, in one year. And so uh, it's a... It's a great accomplishment. Um, I congratulate Sylvie Bertrand on winning the Most Outstanding Student in Anesthesia Award this year. Our next award is the Dartmouth Geisel Emergency Medicine Student Award for Excellence. And for this, we have Dr. Sarah Johansson, Assistant Professor of Emergency Medicine. Hello, everybody. Welcome on this beautiful day. So we like to think we're pretty special in emergency medicine, and um, I am uh, really thrilled to announce that our recipient of our inaugural but annual award it is going to go to uh, Catherine Francis Quarles Stevens. At, come on up. And this is for excellence and commitment. Our patients desperately appreciate your service, and um, we're very proud of you. So thank you for. Our next award is the American Academy of Neurology Medical Student Prize for Excellence. We have Dr. Christian Dinsmore, Clinical Assistant Professor of Neurology. Is that okay? Good evening. Um, and the award for the American Academy of Neurology goes to uh, Dennis Akumo Abbott. Our next award is the Barry D. Smith Award for Excellence in Obstetrics and Gynecology. Presenting this award, we have Dr. Alana Kass, Professor and Chair of Obstetrics and Gynecology.
Okay, I'm the stand-in. I'm Dr. Paul Hennessian, and I'm the clerkship director for obstetrics and gynecology. And we present this award to Nakia Marie Whiteman. The Department of Medicine Paul Gerber Student Award will be presented by Professor of Medicine and Chair of the Department of Medicine, Dr. Richard Rothstein. Thank you. I had the delight to work with Paul Gerber, and he was the ultimate consummate academic internist. I'm pleased to present this year's Paul Gerber Award to Arvind Suresh. As Arvind comes up here, I wanted to uh, read three quotes. He's a natural when talking with patients. These are from people you worked with. Will undoubtedly uh, emerge as a leader among his peers and would gladly have Arvind care for me or my family. Arvind, congratulations. <laughs> Our next award is the Saul Blattman Award for Excellence in Maternal and Child Health. There are two such awards, one for excellence in obstetrics and gynecology and for excellence in pediatrics. For the award for pediatrics, we have Associate Professor and Chair of Pediatrics, Dr. Keith Loud, and we may be bringing back Dr. Hennessian to present the OBGYN Award. Thank you. We, uh, <clears throat> we present this jointly because the Department of Maternal Child Health was started by Dr. Saul Blattman in 1972 and uh, subsequently became independent departments. His son, Dr. Bob Blattman, was prepared to present this, so Paul, you'll have to step in, but I have the pleasure of uh, presenting the Pediatric Award to Lindsay Seton Becker. Lindsay was noted on the earliest days of her newborn medicine rotation as being a natural pediatrician. And with this award, Lindsay, comes the, the uh, challenge of living up to Dr. Blattman's motto, which was the doors of the institution swings out as well as in. <laughs> and I have the pleasure of presenting the obstetrics portion of this award to Leah Gallet. The Dr. Freddie Fu Orthopedic Surgery Medical Student Award, presented by Dr. Kevin Dwyer, Assistant Professor of Orthopedics. On behalf of the Department of Orthopedics, I'd like to congratulate Emily Jane Harmon on the Dr. Freddie Fu Orthopedic Medical Student Award. For the New Hampshire Pediatric Society Award, we have Dr. Stephen Chapman, Associate Professor of Pediatrics. Yes. 
So we like to think of this as the heart of pediatrics award, and I'm very, very delighted to present this award to Isabel Tercio this year. <laughs> Izzy is uh, well known to the pediatric faculty, and I had to pick quotes because I had so many, but she was noted to have empathy and maturity far beyond her, her level. Um, she shows natural charisma in patient interactions, kindness always to patients and families, and I quote, medical knowledge most impressive. <laughs> I know her to hold a strong commitment to social justice, and I'm confident she will make us all proud as a powerful, powerful advocate for children. The Department of Psychiatry Outstanding Student Award will be presented by Dr. Matthew Duncan, Assistant Professor of Psychiatry. It's my pleasure on behalf of the Department of Psychiatry to award this year's uh, recognition to Rin Hefkart. Uh, Rin is not with us uh, today. She is moving into her apartment in California where she's starting her uh, residency at Stanford. So congratulations to Rin. The Hardy C. Crow Award in Radiology will be presented by Dr. Nancy McNulty, Associate Professor of Radiology and of Medical Education. On behalf of the Department of Radiology, I'm delighted to present this award to Aaron Seguito. Aaron spent a year in our department as the Robert F. Jeffries Fellow, did a tremendous job, and faculty were always surprised to learn that he was a student, not a resident, because his fund of knowledge and his interpretive skills were so excellent. So we're bummed he is not joining our department, but wish him all the best. The Arthur Natov Surgical Award will be presented by Dr. Sandra Wang, Professor and Chair of the Department of Surgery. Well, good evening to everybody. Um, on behalf of the Department of Surgery, we would like to congratulate all of tonight's award winners and all of the graduates. It's my delight to present the Arthur Neatov Award to Kennedy Jensen, somebody who is truly outstanding and somebody who um, one day shortly we will be proud to call a colleague. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next award is the Diversity Visionary Award. Sean O'Leary, Director of the Office Diversity, Inclusion, and Community Engagement is here this evening to present the award. On behalf of uh, Dr. Lisa McBride and the entire uh, DICE team, Jerome, Farosh, Mayra, um, we are pleased to announce the 2023 Diversity Visionary Leadership Award, uh, Isabel Tercio. Congratulations, Jess. Next award is the Julian and Melba Jarrett Memorial Prize. Dr. John Dick, Associate Dean for Clinical Education and Associate Professor of Medicine will present this award. Thank you. 
So it's my pleasure to uh, present this award on behalf of the selection committee uh, to Yvette Rahner. Um, Yvette was selected for this. Yvette, if you're here, please come on up. Yes, there you are. Yvette was selected for this award for uh, outstanding academic achievement and non-curricular activities, and particularly the committee was very impressed with her work on uh, developing curriculum on disabilities uh, for uh, learning activity there. So congratulations. We next have the Merck Manula Awards. Dr. Roshini Pinto Powell, Associate Dean for Admissions and Professor of Medicine. Good evening, everybody. The Merck Manual Awards today will be given to two students for their outstanding achievements as well as for their service to the Geisel community Aya Bashi and Marilyn Nduque. We next have the Payson Wilson Hampers MD MBA Scholars Award presented by Dr. Mike Zubkoff, the director of the MD MBA program and associate dean at Geisel School of Medicine. Uh, hey, thanks. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, the MD MBA program's outstanding graduates in 2023 are Hayden Doherty and Colin McLeish. You know, congratulations, guys. Uh, they're going to be, uh, Hayden's going to be doing his residency in dermatology here at Dartmouth-Hitchcock, and uh, Colin will be training in internal medicine at Hopkins. Our program, uh, without going through all their, the history of all the things they've accomplished here, our program really, look, really looks forward to watching them make the world a better place for them having passed through. Thank you. The John F. Radabaugh Community Service Award is presented by Dr. Leah Matthew, Assistant Professor of Community and Family Medicine and of Medical Education. Good evening. It's my pleasure to present the Radabaugh Community Service Award on the behalf of the Department of Community and Family Medicine to Arvind Suresh. Arvind is receiving this award for his impressive community engagement work, particularly during the pandemic. We've heard from multiple sources about his organization, advocacy, and empowerment of students to help our local community with vaccine clinics and our medical school community with activities which enrich the lives of our students and our faculty. We're excited to see where his community and health, public health path leads, and we are confident that he will be a leader for positive change for his patients, his communities, and our profession. We now move to our research awards, which I'm very happy to get to present this year. Um, we first have the John and Sophia Zaslow Prize. Um, this prize is um, an award for, um, for research and uh, that is done during the course of um, the curriculum, and this award goes to Michaela O'Connor. A second research award is the S. Marsh Tenney Research Award. This is an award done for research that is undertaken during a second degree or during time away from the medical curriculum. And this award this year goes to Gregory Harry Sugranis.
the Douglas Zipes uh, Research Prize in, sorry, I'm going to go back and correct myself because it's always good to say this. I knew I was doing the research awards. Michaela O'Connor's Zaslow Award was not a research award. That was an award chosen by the department chairs for outstanding performance at the Geisel School of Medicine. So, give me a round of applause for Michaela. The Douglas Zipes Research Prize in Medicine is shared this year between our two graduates who have matched into the field of otolaryngology. And this goes to Maria Pomponio and Yvette Annalise Rohner. For the Leonard Tao Humanism Award for students and faculty, we would like to welcome Dr. Erica Brown, Dean of Faculty Affairs. It's my pleasure to present the Leonard Tao Humanism and Medicine Award. This goes to both a faculty member and a student. And it's my pleasure to present, regarding the student, to Katherine Hefkart. And Catherine Hepcart, I've heard earlier that she's moving, but she is also at a conference presenting her research. So very stellar, a multitasker there. <laughs> and she was selected because of her mission to actively deliver equitable and compassionate health care to all of her patients. And for the faculty member, it's my pleasure to present the award to Dr. Vijay Thadani, Professor of Neurology. And Dr. Thadani was selected because he is extremely generous with his time, with patients, and always volunteers to cover for colleagues. And he appreciates cultural diversity, is polite and respectful, and intellectually curious. <laughs> Our next award is the Kyle Janicek Memorial Prize. We welcome again Dr. Roshini Pinto Powell, Associate Dean of Admissions and Professor of Medicine. Hello again. For those who knew Kyle, he was truly, uh, the, the blurb really captures him. He was a charming, kind, compassionate, very talented self taught musician and a real friend and colleague to his class. And the two students who are getting this award today are that to this class of 2023 for sure. Gus Hendrick and Eric Jane. The C. Everett Coop Courage Awards will be presented this evening by Dr. Stephen Bernstein and by Mrs. C. Everett Coop, who came to be with us this evening. Um, there's both a student and a faculty award. The award is named in memory of uh, Dr. Coop, who was the 13th uh, Surgeon General of the United States and arguably the uh, greatest Surgeon General we've ever had. I'm delighted to have Mrs. Coop with us here tonight. So we have uh, awards for uh, students as well as a faculty member. Um, for their work in immigrant and refugee health, uh, we're happy to present the uh, Coop Award to Fatima Haydar and Irene Vargas. I think, I think Fatima's out of town. Uh, 
and for her work in caring for the transgendered community of Northern New England, uh, we're delighted to present this award to Dr. Francis Lim Liberty. Our next award is the Dartmouth Mosenthal Surgical Society inductees. To present this award, we have Dr. Brian Catlin, Clinical Associate Professor of Medical Education. It is an honor to announce the, this year's inductees into the Sir Dartmouth Mosenthal Surgical Society named for one of the great legends of this school. I will read their names and they can come up together and please hold your applause until they get up here. Aya Bashi, Meg Hanley, Kennedy Jensen, Yvette Rahner, Tanya Sorensen, Kate Telma, and Noah Tachi. Each year, the students selected to the Mosenthal Surgical Society have the honor and privilege of recognizing one of our amazing surgical faculty to also be inducted. And this year's decision was remarkably easy uh, because this individual was a unanimous nominee amongst all of us for her incredible patient advocacy, uh, leadership, and commitment to education, Dr. Alexandra Briggs. Our next awards are the Rolf Silverstein Fellow and Scholars. We invite um, Nara Carley, a graduate of Geisel School of Medicine, class of 2009, and chair of the Syvertson Alumni Committee to present the awards. Hi, everyone. Uh, I don't know if they told you, but there's going to be an exam afterwards on all the names. <laughs> uh, it's wonderful to be here and to um, recognize the Rolf Syvertson Fellow and Scholars. Um, I'll be calling out the Fellow first, but this is really a community of people. Many people don't understand um, what the Rolf Syvertson Award specifically is, but I just wanted to share with you how special it is um, to be here now. Dr. Syvertson graduated from uh, medical school in 1923, so this is 100 years from that day. He then proceeded to dedicate his life both in pre-medical and in graduate medical education here at Dartmouth Medical School, and really, I think for many of us, seemed to define the spirit of Dartmouth Medical School, which I hope will continue forever. And this is the idea that within everyone who joins the school, there is within them the potential to become the doctor that they wish to be. Right? I felt it when I joined, that there was this inspirational moment, and I think and hope that that's true for every one of the students who is here. And this award was set up um, in honor of Dr. Syvertson and this legacy that he had to protect it, and has been carried through throughout all of the generations of teachers. So while I didn't get to meet him myself, um, I, many of the professors who I greatly admired and who influenced me were really influenced by him. 
um, and I think that that continues today. It's now the largest um, alumni um, scholarship award, and it goes primarily to to um, need-based scholarships for medical students to help them thrive while they're here. Uh, and then there's a small portion that's reserved to recognize medical students who have demonstrated not just merit and thriving within the medical school environment, something we hope for all the students, but who also have selflessly given a tremendous amount of service to the community. Um, this is not something you apply for, it's something that you are spontaneously recognized for. In the path of medicine, I think in all of the specialties, there's a need to be giving uh, to you in the community and an expectation of that. And these um, scholars and the fellow have really embodied that. I'd like to welcome Arvind uh, Suresh uh, as the Syverson Fellow to the stage. Uh, the fellow um, and the scholars together form this community, which I hope will stay together, supporting each other as they, they go on their different paths. Um, this is really a wonderful community, and it's difficult to, to distinguish between them, but each of them has brought something very unique to it. And so I wanted to bring all the other scholars up with Arvind to recognize them for their service both to the community and for their merit during uh, medical school. Aya Bashi, please come up. Kennedy Jensen. Great. Colin Hugh McLeish. Linda Marie Morris. And Isabel Tercio. One photo with all the fellows, the fellows and scholars together. <laughs> Can you see them all? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Our next award is the Dean's Leadership Award, presented by Dr. Roshini Pinto Powell, Associate Dean of Admissions and Professor of Medicine. Dr. Catherine Florio Pipus usually presents this award, and it is my distinct pleasure to do so on her behalf today. Arvind, would you please come up? I hope you have your step counter on you. Uh, I think the description in the ward really captures uh, what Arvind is. Somebody who demonstrates authenticity, self-awareness, integrity, and a sincere commitment to causes larger than himself. But I want to add a few more to that. Robert Greenleaf coined the term servant leadership, which is really about a philosophy where the leader serves the people and the institutions they lead. And I think Arvind will do that. He's already done that. The grace and joy with which he uh, accepts in these leadership positions and delivers is absolutely an inspiration to all of us. Congratulations, Arvind. Thank you so much.
for the New Hampshire Academy of Family Physicians Award for the Promise of Excellence in Family Medicine. Again, Dr. Leah Matthew, Assistant Professor of Community and Family Medicine and of Medical Education. Hello again. Again, on behalf of the Department of Community and Family Medicine, I'm excited to award this to Lucy Skinner. Lucy exemplifies the broad interests of a family physician scholar. Her research has advanced the understanding of physician workforce development, including issues impacting rural primary care providers. Scholarship by invested family physicians is a part of the solution to the health care challenges facing our communities. We're also, we are so excited to see where her passions take her, and we know that her colleagues, patients, and community will be lucky to have her skill, enthusiasm, and advocacy. We hope she returns to her New Hampshire roots someday. New Hampshire American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists Award, Dr. Alana Cass, Professor and Chair of Obstetrics and Gynecology. So I have the pleasure of presenting this award to Dr. Aya Bashi. Um, this is an individual who I think we can all agree there is nothing that she dips her toe into. She jumps in full throttle right into the pool. And I, I am so glad I managed to have that per persuasive conversation with you. I'm thrilled to bits that you will be one of our colleagues and absolutely counting on you to be a leader in our field to advance the healthcare of women. Congratulations. We now move to our teaching awards, the first of which is the Thomas P. Almy House Staff Teaching Award, which will be presented by one of the members of our graduating class, Maura Dore. All right, this award is presented to a PGY4 of the Department of Anesthesiology, who is continuing on to be a fellow here at um, Dartmouth-Hitchcock. So we are so pleased uh, to honor Dr. Taylor Conroy with this award, and he cannot be here tonight, but we will clap for him anyway. <laughs> Our next uh, teaching Award is the Clinical Science Teaching Award presented by Stephen Johnson. Hello, uh, it's truly my honor and privilege to uh, present this award to a, uh, a teacher who has represented an immense amount of enthusiasm, positivity, and shows a genuine care to both her patients and her students. Um, and that positive impact uh, has definitely been felt on my life, which is why I asked to present this to Dr. Rebecca Swenson um, uh, for our clinical teaching and excellence. Thanks. Uh, the recipient of the Basic Science Teaching Award was unable to be here this evening, but I would like to announce that this is Dr. Alex Fold, Assistant Professor in Medicine. <laughs> Our next award is the Anne J. Davis Faculty Award, which will be presented by Linda Morris. I 
I am so excited to announce this award to someone that this description could have been written about. Um, they are a true champion of students. And anytime you ask a request, it's never no, we don't do this, but always how can I make this happen for you? So I'm so honored and thrilled to announce it to Dr. Sonia Kamianti. Our next teaching award is the Joseph O'Donnell Faculty Award. Please welcome another member of the graduating class, Marilyn Nduque. So Tina said to say only two to three words, uh, sentences, but I'll start by saying like, Amanda has told me to go to a number of alumni events where a lot of the classes of the 1980s, to the early 2000s will talk about Dr. O'Donnell being like their sponsor, a great mentor, a great teacher. And this past week, I actually told them, wow, I'm kind of jealous we didn't get to be with you. And then uh, I realized like, wait, we do have our own Dr. O'Donnell and that's Dr. Kimenti. And um, I just think back to the first thing we presented to Dr. Kimanti about, oh, we need bathroom science on the door. And she's like, well, I just got here, but we'll figure it out. And, <laughs> um, and this is who she's been since um, she's been here for the short amount of time. Just the kind of person who listens to students no matter what, um, will go on walks. She lives an hour away, but will still find her way to be here like 6 a.m. or 8 p.m. and is just here to support all students. So I don't think there's anybody uh, more deserving of this award than Dr. Kimanti. <laughs> we'll now move to our teaching awards for um, clerkship for outstanding contributions to Geisel student learning. We welcome again Dr. John Dick, Associate Dean for Clinical. Um, Sorry, Associate um, Dean for Clinical Education and Associate Professor of Medicine. Thank you, Dr. Holmes. Um, so we're very fortunate at Geisel to have a large and dedicated group of clinician educators who take our students year after year, day after day, into their clinics, into their wards, show them how patient care is done, excellent patient care, and teach at the same time. Um, so they're all excellent. So if we could just give a round of applause to our faculty and our staff. Thank you. Uh, this year, it's my pleasure to uh, get to acknowledge uh, nine of them who have been uh, instrumental in these students' education. So I think the way we should probably do this is I'll call them one by one. You can clap and you'll have them in order. And I think most people are here, which is great. So we have educators across the country in Alaska, California, Florida, Maine, and right here. So not everybody's going to be able to be here, but many are. So um, for advanced ambulatory medicine, uh, Adam Schwartz. Adam, are you here? All right. Hopefully you'll hear that. He lives nearby. Um, for family medicine, Corey Howarth. Corey. For the Department of Medicine, we have two. For the inpatient portion for the clerkship, my friend and colleague, uh, Dr. Greg Dedekian. Greg. the other half of the swenson Dadakian teaching force. For the Department of Neurology, Dr. Christian Dinsmore. Dr. Dinsmore. All right. Another colleague of mine uh, from the Department of Pediatrics for the inpatient portion, Dr. Ryan Ratz. Thank you. 
Dr. Ratz serves in hospital medicine, internal medicine, and pediatrics, but is being recognized for his pediatrics work. Thank you. For the Department of Psychiatry, Dr. William Keller. And Dr. Briggs for the Department of Surgery, another award winner tonight. Congratulations, Dr. Briggs. All right, I am going to announce uh, two other colleagues who are not able to make it here today, uh, but we do want to give them recognition. So for the Department of Pediatrics for the outpatient portion, uh, Dr. Juan Luna. And for the Department of OBGYN, Dr. Sheila Flom. Thank you all, appreciate it. Our final award this evening uh, is one that we began last year, and I'm really happy to uh, announce um, this year. Our Excellence in Career Advising Award goes to Dr. Julie Fru, Psychiatry. I think she is not here this evening. But thank you for the round of applause for Dr. Fru. So, Thank you all so much for being here this evening. We would definitely let, invite you to attend the reception back behind the tent. Thank you for coming. Enjoy the rest of the evening, and we look forward to seeing you uh, bright and early tomorrow morning. Thank you.